Hello, what is up guys? I'm here with another video, and uh, I'm gonna say, spoiler, if you get jealous really easy and you are still on PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, and you don't want to get jealous over this, um, you might have already seen a video on it or not, um, I would shut the video off right now. I would not keep watching. Because we are looking at the new Soul RS, uh, just the Soul RS for now. Uh, the Banshee, I can't you. because okay. I don't have enough money to buy to that go. quite yet. Uh, maybe within the next week or two I should because, as you guys can see, I have $200,000. I went from 1.3 customizing this car all the way down to 200000 So, that's how that worked, but... Here is our Sultan RS right here. We're gonna just, you know, drive around, drift with it. I'm gonna commentate on how I like the car. But this is one of the many designs that you can go for, um, which is Princess Bubblegum, I believe. I believe that that's what the, the girl is called. But we're gonna pull into a parking lot and we're just gonna look really quickly at, like, the interior and all that interesting stuff. Okay, this is gonna be, like, a quick interior check. Um, because I have a one level, guys. Um, actually, let's call Lester real quick. We'll call Lester in the middle of the, the video and get Lester and... Get Lester! Yeah, we're gonna call Lester and get Lester. Hey, we're gonna remove our which window. one of my skills? Okay, okay, so you're but as you guys can see, this is all custom. The door help. panel, okay, okay. uh, the floor there, the full interior. I have almost the best of everything. Uh, it's, there's two options for the most expensive. Such as the steering wheel comes in two different colors, and the engine bay, and like that there, comes in pink and blue. But yeah, I pretty much have like the most expensive of everything put into this car, like this here. But um, enough about commentating, I basically just wanted to quickly show you guys how the car looks interior instead of just exterior. Um, let's listen to the sound now. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. But it's nice. So it's gonna do a little bit of drifting. Fail or not, everything is gonna stay. And the thing that I don't like is when you have your normal lights on, uh, the headlights are blocked with what I have on. But we're just gonna keep all lights off. Sorry if like the picture looks really, really blue. I don't know why it does that. Um, this car is all-wheel drive, by the way, because uh, it is meant to be a rally car, not a drift car. But with it being all-wheel drive, it actually works really well. As a oh my god. <laughs> I'm hitting everything. It actually works really well as a drift car. Um, but as I said, guys, in the next two weeks, we should have the Banshee. Uh, this is one of the designs. The other designs are just like the Soul RS symbol placed in other locations instead of where it normally is. Like, you guys can see, this is what it likes to do on dirt because this is where its, uh, it's home spot is. Uh, let's go into the interior and just get a look at this. All the switches, all that. Oops. So what happens when you try to drive in first person? All the switches, all the gauges that I know of. Um, the one little gauge there works. The speed gauge works. The RPM gauge works. And then those two gauges up there work. But all those over there don't work or anything like that. Uh, that red light over there, when you're hitting RPMs, will work like this. But I really like this car, guys. Tell me what you guys think about the car. Tell me if uh, you want to see more drifting or off-roading. Probably going to go and do uh, that up the mountain race that I made, guys. Probably going to go and try this going up there. Or um, if you guys want to drop a like, and um, I will drive this up Mount Chiliad, and I will time it. Uh, do this compared to the Brawler. I'll do like a time trial. Brawler versus this, or Brawler versus Sand King. You guys... Uh, put down in the comments what I should verse this against. But, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This is basically just like a little overview of this nice new car that was secretly added. Um, because the two new cars and the new adversary mode was a secret DLC that Rockstar didn't announce, and they actually did not announce anything about it on the Newswire till roughly, what was it, an hour and a half, two hours, like a couple hours later after the DLC actually came out. But um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm out.